When we talk about the sins of history and how we are still paying for it, one issue that always raises its head it is uh, historical representation. And why we speak about it is because the 400th birth anniversary of Lachit Bor Pukan is being celebrated on such a grand scale. I don't remember, I am very embarrassed to say, ever having seen such a celebration in Delhi. Why are you doing it? Is this to try and mainstream Northeast history? No, I think I have a different take on that. Indian history, if you see the history before British come into India, it was largely written on the basis that Mughal conquered Indian uh, India. And Indian history always recognized Aurangzeb as a great sultan, probably one of the most powerful sultan of the India. But now look at the actual story. He could not conquer South. Kerala, Tamil Nadu, it was not under him. Sibaji fought with him and secured a uh, kind of freedom for the Marathas. Guru Govind Singh fought with him. Durgadas Rathur fought with him. Lasit Borfukan defeated him completely. But Indian history did not recognize all these figures in commensurate with the Aurangzeb. There is a, they believe that entire India was under Mughal. But the fact is not like that. In the complete India was never under Mughal. I think we have come here to show that Northeast doesn't have a separate history. Northeast history and Indian history is same. But why you have not recognized Lasit Borfukan, but you are recognizing Aurangzeb? I think the people, basically the left people, who has written history, they written in a manner so that you always feel that you have been conquered. You are a defeated people. You are a demoralized people. Somebody has come and took all of you under his fall. But we want to say that was not the case. So how many of us today we know that about Durga Das Rathor? Many of us we do not know. How many of us we know that many, uh, that Northeast was never owned by the Mughals? Tamil Nadu and Kerala was out of Mughal reads always. So India's history was written completely taking a side and sorry to say which is a little anti-Hindu element was there. Why would any historian do that? Because most of the left people want to show that Hindu was a weak race, Hindu, uh, Hindu people could not resist Mughal, and Mughal overrun the Hindu and control all the territory. So today why we do not know in Assam about Durga Das Rathor? Today why you do not know about Lasit Borfukan? This left historian has to reply all these questions. Today, so many people in Delhi ask me, oh, we, we did not heard about Lasit Borfukan. If you have not heard about Lasit Borfukan, who defeated Aurangzeb completely, washed out him, then, then it is not fault of the people of Northeast. It is fault of the people who has written Indian history. They wanted to portray a bigger picture of Aurangzeb Vis-a-vis -vis Indian kings. Mughal was a dynasty who ruled or who was there for 350 years. But Ahum ruled Assam for 600 years. Sola dynasty was there for hundreds of years. Pandya dynasty. There are many other dynasties who rule longer time than Mughal. But you have, you, you, you can think, you know, First it was Babar, from Babar, Humayun, Humayun se Aurangzeb, or Sajan, Sajan se Aurangzeb. Hame school mein hi sab pata sala tha. But do you know Jayadha Singha, after Jayadha Singha, Sakradha Singha, after Sakradha Singha, Udayaditya Singha? That you don't know. So a left historian has done, bohut hi Bharat ka saath o log ne vishwas ghat kata kiya.
एंड इसलिए मैंने कांग्रेस का ऊपर नाराज हूं इट वॉज नथिंग अगेंस्ट राहुल गांधी जो ये भारत जोरो का कल्पना करता है ना पचहत्तर साल तक दो हजार सोलह का पीछे छोड़ दीजिए टिल टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन वाई यू हैव नॉट टॉट लासिड बॉर फूकन आज आपको कुछ बोलने से आप पूरा आपका एकदम दिल दुखी दुख हो जाता है मेरा दिल का मेरा दिल में दुख नहीं होता है वेन पीपुल एक्स मी वो हमें तो लासिड बॉर फूकन का बारे में पता ही नहीं था तो मेरा दिल में दुख नहीं होता है क्या दुख होने का अधिकार खाली राहुल गांधी का ही है हिमंत विश्व शर्मा का नहीं है 